where do you go to download your Revit families? Do you build most of them custom from scratch? Do you use the Revit resource of Revit City? Uh, there's definitely a tutorial that on this channel and I'll put a link in the description box so that you can find that if you're not familiar with Revit City. However, today I want to focus on another BIM resource that is very valuable for downloading free Revit families. And I'm going to take you to that resource right now. So let's just jump into it. This resource, if you're not familiar with it already, is called RCAT. And you'll see that there is actually quite a wealth of information on this website that's available to anyone in the design community, construction community. And you'll probably become more familiar with it if you're a student um, as you move into the profession a little bit. But this is, let's just jump into the site. And I want to show you um, some of the content that's available. Specifically, I'm going to look at ceiling fan so if I just show you back in Revit I've got right now I've pretty much got a got a mess if you look up here but uh, it'll make more sense to you because I wanted to show you some of the different ceiling fan options I have as I ramp up for deciding what we're going to use in this particular project we're doing right now so I'm going to click on BIM and under BIM, you'll see it's sorted by specifications section. And I know this is all, this may make sense to you, may not, but this is CSI, Construction Specification Institute, and all of the master's, master spec format fat, formatted sections. And I'm just going to type in ceiling fan. As you get more familiar, you'll know that this is found under the electrical and then lighting, but if I just type in ceiling fan, which is easiest, and give our cat a second here, but then it's gonna give me, you see it gives me the division, it's gonna give me what I need here. So these are the options, and I can scroll through as many of them as I wish to, but you'll see here at the top, and I'll just go with the right, the right height, particular manufacturer um, ceiling fan, and I'm gonna click on my BIM because that means there's some BIM content available. So I want to go with, there's a four blade fan, you'll see there's a two blade fan, there's some other designs to these particular, and you can read through them and pick the best one. But I wanna go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and go with this top one. So I'm gonna click on that BIM link and you'll see it'll bring up the particular Revit family content that's available for download and you'll see the version so you'll want to match this up with whatever version of Revit you're working in and this project that I'm working in right now is in 2015 so I'm going to download the 2015 ceiling fan so if I click on that you'll see that'll download for me so let me go ahead and open this one up and you'll see let me click on my 3d view but here is that ceiling fan. And what's valuable about this information is that Revit is going to be, we're inserting into Revit BIM content that has a lot of the information already assigned to our particular Revit families. So the manufacturers are developing a lot of BIM content as the BIM wave continues. Um, and I'll get into, hey, you load this into your project and that's where you'll begin to see hey, this is actually a very large industrial fan. So um, as it showed in one of the images on the ARCAD site, but you can see for a smaller sanctuary like this is, this is a huge warehouse um, context type of fan that you might use. So you might end up having to edit the family. So it's still very important to know how to edit families and so forth, and even make sure that this is real. This is a real size fan, uh, right height, manufactured fan that can be used in the project right now but I went ahead and modified this already so that I could put it into the project to give me something that as a basis of design so here are the ceiling fans now I want to go back to RCAT one other time and if we go back one other step I want to show you one other thing so remember this was the warehouse fan 
but I'm going to go back here. And if I just go back to my very beginning, you'll see, let's go back. Now, if I go in here to my electrical, and so I want to just take a look at the equipment. Electrical, come down to interior lighting, because we are doing interior, here's your exterior, but all these are spec sections that are just organized. If I go under generic, so under generic, you'll see that there's some other options, and here there's particularly some interior lighting, chandeliers, sconces, but there's a fan that might be of a smaller scale and more um, appropriate for a church ceiling. And so I'll click on the 2015 version of that and I'll download this into my project as well. So here is that five blade ceiling fan that looked to have more of a ceiling finish and I'm going to click the project that I wanna load it into and here we are. So. Right now, you'll see I can't even place it in this ceiling vent, but remember to look at your contextual ribbon and make sure that you place it on the face. And now you'll see that I can insert this wherever I wanted to here in that ceiling plan for this sanctuary. And that's what this is. And I just copied a few throughout to give a reasonable spacing for now. Of course, we'll have you know an electrical engineer who's also making sure we have the right power as well as the proper spacing for getting the ventilation that he needs throughout the sanctuary. So I want to just show you that, hey, this one seems a little bit more appropriately sized out of the box from RCAT. But let's look at the information properties that are in these free Revit families from RCAT. So if I click on this one and I'm going to come here to edit type, You'll see under edit type, if I just expand my type properties menu, I want to kind of go through and just show you that there's quite a bit of information that's stored behind the scenes in this particular Revit component. And if I look particularly at my text, you'll see that there's so much, there's so much here. So I can actually click on the spec section, which will give me more information um, about this particular ceiling fan. I can find out more information about green building. Let's just click on one of these. So if I just click and see, it's actually gonna take me back to the RCAT website, but under the RCAT spec, you'll see that there's actually information on each one of these as it pertains to the lead information. So when I clicked on this, it'll show me, hey, this is the particular energy and atmosphere credit. If you're aware of lead right now this will make more sense but there's so many credits to this rating system and it actually tells you which one using this equipment would apply to so i think that that's helpful information let's go back and maybe we'll look at just one more of these so particularly i'm going to take a look at the spec so now it takes us right back out so you'll see in the revit model you know building information model, we're, we're modeling within Revit, but it's there's attachments to all of these um, external sources that impact where things are going. Um, so, and you'll see the three-part spec section here that's giving me information on, this is really the submittal information. Uh, the manufacturer gives me the particular ceiling height. You'll see the blade and ceiling fan sizes. You'll see everything that's required electrically, the electrical requirements for this fan and all the information that's gonna be needed if you truly integrate this particular, not only Revit family, but if you integrate the product into your eventual project. So, hey, guys, I wanted to just show you with the ceiling fan that was very simple, but I wanted to show you just how much, how valuable a resource this is because I know one of the things many uh, architecture students struggle with when you're initially getting into BIM is you, you lose the concept of being able to relate to space and what exactly is a proper scale. So I think when you're using real components from a BIM resource like RCAT, um, you're going to get content that's going to tell you. So initially we saw, if you remember, we saw the ceiling fan that was definitely too big for a project of this scale but you can, it helps you to better have a sense of the scale of your project 
when you're putting in, you know, when you start to put it in the furniture and bring your model to life, you're able to get a sense of what makes sense and what doesn't. Hey guys, this is another Smart Architect tutorial. I hope that you'll utilize RCAT, you know, on a case by case basis as you're looking. It just gives you another resource to look up uh, free Revit families that may be suited to your project. And I would recommend that you, as you're initially getting started, that you definitely use this search box for searching for your BIM and CAD content because it just makes it easier until you're more familiar with the spec sections. All right. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box and you'll see a couple links in the description box that will be in reference to this video and other items connected. Thanks.